Hi, this is Lou with a bonus video because it's about my games rather than about game design in general. What's happening with Britannia? Well, a reissue of the second edition, the Fantasy Flight Games edition of Britannia, but using plastic pieces, no changes in the rules, is due for release in early summer 2020. The artwork has been redone and there are no nation cards. I've used different methods to make it easier for every player to be able to see what every other player's objectives and reinforcements are instead of having to ask for somebody else's nation card. Along with that, in the same box, there will be a new two-player version of Britannia. This takes 65 to 90 minutes to play generally. It has a new board including Ireland. So we have a double-sided board, one side is Britannia, the other side is dual Britannia, and it's something that I designed recently. It uses double dice combat to reduce chance somewhat. In other words, uh, every army rolls two dice and you need two hits to kill an army. So in a two to one, there's only um, a small chance that that one army is going to get killed, much smaller than in the standard Britannia method because those four dice of the attackers need to roll two hits. This game can act as an introduction to playing Britannia or some people may prefer this and rarely play the big game. Well, this package was kickstarted in July and as of January 2020 you can still make the pledge. The publisher is PSE Games in the UK a company experienced in plastic pieces for games. It's a subsidiary of the Plastic Soldier Company. Now there also should be an electronic edition of the second edition at some point from a French company. Now what about third editions? Sometime and we're talking quite a long time in the future, maybe three years, there will be a third edition, a more realistic edition that is a better teaching tool than the second. Its features are largely set, but a lot of playtesting is needed. It's actually three games, not one, Epic, Rule, and Conquer. Conquer Brit is actually the source of many of the ideas I used in Dual Britannia. It is a four-player game that has been played in as little as 84 minutes. And it begins with Roman withdrawal, which is why it can be played in six turns. Rule Britannia is a diceless version and it's a little longer, nine turns. It uses battle cards instead of dice. And each of these has its own map. Then we have Epic Britannia, the big four player game, plus a free form game, free form game that's much shorter for two to five players. And by free form, I mean there are many fewer constraints, especially scoring. The scoring has been completely revamped to be much simpler. It's less realistic, but it's much simpler. And there's a new three-player version. Epic uses the usual board, but it's slightly modified. For example, Mar is clear terrain, which makes a big difference. Conquer has been tested a lot. Rule has not been tested much, but the diceless system has been tested in other games. I played the big game solo at least 20 times, but it needs to be played a lot more by other people. I don't know when this testing will ramp up. Now I'm going to mention a third game which is Britannia-like but might surprise you because it's not an historical game. I made it for a veteran Britannia player who doesn't like constraints in Brit. He actually prefers the first edition to the second. In the first edition some mistakes were made by the publisher that made it much more freeform uh, in the way you could let your armies hang out in the sea long after your homeland had disappeared. So I made a freeform Britannia in outer space. The board is a galaxy. It accommodates up to five players. There's a single player version with both shorter and longer versions of the up to five player version. It's quicker than Brit itself because there are fewer constraints, but it's not a short game. It's not yet been submitted to a publisher, but it's well tested. I've also designed lots of other games using versions of the Britannia system, usually to simplify it, 
but these tend to get forgotten by me and I have done a poor job of marketing them. Thanks for listening.